It is the MetroTech Weekly Update. And so we start off with our student highlight, Megan Huffman. She's a full-time student in our practical nursing program. Megan, thank you for leading the way. Thank you for modeling the way. She's married, a mom of two boys, ages 12 and three, dedicated to the health field as she enjoys classes, lab simulations, and is the reporter and historian for her class. Her drive for staying on track in her program is doing it. She is setting an example to her sons and others. That is dedication and determination. And we appreciate her example and so glad that she is a part of our practical nursing program here at Metro Tech. Megan, thank you for modeling the way your perseverance and dedication and being a role model. We're reminded in September that this is Suicide Prevention Month. We're reminded of the times that we're in. Um, people need comfort. Uh, they need to be um, told that we care and, and that we love them and, and that we appreciate them. An opportunity for us to reach out maybe to others that we haven't reached out to in a while. It is a reminder of suicide prevention. For those that are feeling uh, depressed, there is a suicide hotline number. Call that at 1-800-273-8255. The hotline suicide prevention number. And so it's important during this month to continue to spread a message of positivity, and our students and faculty and staff are doing that. You've got to come by one of our campuses and see the wonderful um, sidewalk chalk artwork that is going on with messages of hope. And so grateful for that. Thank you, students and faculty, for caring about others with encouraging words and messages. Lynn Institute, we mentioned to you last week about construction progress for community outreach and wellness building. This program has been instrumental in helping improve the overall zip code of 73111. Thank you, Lynn Institute, for all that you do. Um, a great partnership. And the Lynn Institute is hosting an event addressing the health needs of men in the area of COVID-19. This will occur on Tuesday, September 14th, 6 p.m. at the Greater New Zion Baptist Church. The featured speaker is Dr. Adam Alexander, who's a health researcher with a specialty in tobacco research. So it's sure to be an interesting evening and an opportunity there at the Greater New Zion Baptist Church, September 14th at 6 p.m. Another men's health event um, to note is the National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. It's also hosted by the Lynn Institute, and this event will be held Saturday, September 18th, 9 a.m. to noon at Metro Tech Spring Lake Campus STEM Academy. It's no cost, and it's also a pancake breakfast, and learn about men's health screenings, education, and wellness resources. We had our blood drive this week, and it was a great opportunity uh, to be able to give back to our community. Thank you to all our students, faculty, and staff who turned out to give blood to the Oklahoma Blood Institute last week. It's a good feeling to give back and to be a part of the community and to assist and support our community. Thank you, Stacy Post Bells, our pre nursing teacher uh, who coordinated the blood drive and uh, was able to uh, support this. And thank you for OBI for being on campus this week. It's been a great week. We want to continue to remember about uh, COVID-19 and the numbers. Very important to do our part, continue to be um, face coverings when we're inside um, buildings and when we're around others. We want to continue to remember to uh, social distance at every opportunity. Stay safe, stay calm, stay clean. It's a great day to be at Metro Tech.